Good morning, Cyber Friends. This is Mitty Man again, coming at you again for Walker's Music. I just wanted to say I'm, I'm still up in Adam, y'all, uh, from early this morning. And uh, we just want to say that uh, we give God all the praise and all the glory for life, health, and strength for the way as it is. And I thank God for the Bible study, the, the faithful members and co-laborers of the Bible study. We give y'all your honor this morning. I was, I got a, uh, some more news, people, that I have this. Uh, Israel is always in the news, but every time I get a chance and I see something concerning world leaders and stuff going against the nation of Israel, I always have to sound the trumpet. And that's what I'm doing this morning. I learned this morning, I saw some headlines and everything that we got some countries and that are yet threatening the uh, the destruction of uh, Israel. Uh, we got some deals going on with Iran. Also got something to do with our country as well. And the, the, the nuclear threat is ever present, imminent. And my buddy, I call him my buddy because I really like the, the I like the spunk of Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israel Prime Minister. I've always I've, I've always liked old Benjamin. I, I like I like what he stands for and his 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 courage. He said that, that, that never again would they leave their home. And uh I am saying to all of you, you already know my pro stance with Israel. You can say that I'm, I, I'm biased, I'm prejudiced. Well, I'm, no, I'm just for what's right, people. That's Israel is the, the land, the nation of Israel belongs to the Jew, point blank. Because I can read, people. You always ask Mitty Man, why Mitty Man do you say that? It's because of the fact that Mitty Man knows how to read. The scripture makes it very clear that the nation of Israel belongs to the Israelites, the Jews. I want to say something. I'm going to keep saying it until Jesus comes or else I leave your warm. We, the, the people of Israel have nothing to fear. I read the book. Benjamin going to stand firm. I believe that with all my heart. I believe Benjamin going to stand firm. Benjamin going to do everything in his power to defend the nation of Israel. But I do know for certain that God is going to defend Israel. According to the scripture, I don't know what, I don't know what Bible the world leaders are reading, if they're reading at all. But I'm here to tell everyone today, you need to leave Israel alone. You're not going to prosper. You're, it's not going to work. God is not going to allow Israel no more to be, to be trodden down. That part is over. Those people will never go back into no more bondage in a, again. Their country is going to be secure. God's going to do it. And any nation, hear me, any nation, according to the Bible, any nation that goes against Israel is going to fall. You're going down. So people, do yourself a favor. Put up your, put up your guns. Put up your nukes. And all of that, none of that stuff is going to work against Israel. I'm just here to tell you. Why? Because I read the Bible. And if you don't believe me, I dare you to read Zechariah. I dare you to read Zechariah. Read the whole book. Read Psalm 83. Just, just you know, just in case you haven't noticed. Read Ezekiel 37, 38, and 39. Those dry bones have come back to life. And like Benjamin said, never to be removed out of their place again. So all of the world leaders, you're demonic, and I know you're demonic. It's demonic spirit that got you going up against the nation of Israel. It's a demonic spirit. You're having a bad thought, but you better rethink it. Because I'm telling you, you better read your Bible. Any nation, any that goes against Israel is going down. God's going to defend them. So now... The choice is yours. That's what we used to have an old drill sergeant you tell us all the time. The choice is yours. So now, if you want to get annihilated, go against Israel. God's going to defend Israel, people. According to the book, I read it. Unless God lied, and he's a God, he said, I cannot lie. He's going to defend Israel. So, really and truly, my buddy, Benjamin Netanyahu, I really, it's just like I know him personally because I like what he stands for. I like that champion in him and that warrior-like spirit. 
And the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel brought us our Bible, our way of life, the moral code, spirituality, the nation of Israel, we were patterned after that nation. We got the Messiah from the nation, the people of Israel. God's chosen people, according to the Bible. God loves us all. Yes, he does. He loves us all. But these were the people that he chose to use, people to bring in the Messiah into this world. And they're because God loves them, Satan hates them. But they don't have the words. So I'm telling all the world leaders, you might as well sit down. Put down your push button. Put down your little remote for your little nukes. None of that stuff is going to work. Believe me, I'm telling you. I read the Bible. And I know it said God is a God and he cannot lie. He said he's going to defend Israel. So guess what? You can't fight against God. People, you can't fight against God, Satan. That being said, whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, Please, ma'am, please, sir, come on out of it because it's going to come to nothing. And world leaders, messing with Israel, you're going to come to nothing. Peace. Bye-bye.